stats. But typically what you have is an issue, before I would test those, is you have an issue with your fuses. And I have a few fuses right here. Um, your machine's only gonna have one fuse, so what happens is power is able to go through here. We should have a reading of about one. Right now nothing's happening, so I'm gonna touch here. And then when I touch the other terminal, I should get a reading of about one. So that's showing that if this was in your dryer, power would be able to go through. If I was getting no reading at all, then I would have a bad fuse and I'd have to replace that. So I have three of these here and I'll just go through these real quick and hopefully I have one that's bad, but these ones are all working. This one's a little bouncy. I don't really like that. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I'd probably just replace it. Um, so that's what you, I would test. Typically these go bad. If one of these go bad, it just virtually cuts off all the power to your dryer and you're not going to be able to get your dryer to work. Um, thermostats, they're a different, different issue. Um, if they're not popping, you might not be able to have your dryer shut off. Um, and it may not start depending on what the thermostat's do, doing and checking for, but that is a different story. So sometimes if you feel like your dryer just isn't getting very hot um, and it just keeps shutting off, you probably have a thermostat issue if it's able to operate, but it just keeps shutting off and it's just not warming up. Um, these are a different story. These ones are easiest to check. Um, these ones typically, if you're having an issue with these blowing, check your your tube where your uh, exhaust vent is. Typically that starts filling up with a whole bunch of uh, lint and it's not all getting filtered into your lint trap. It starts catching in your hose, your hose fills up and then the air is not able to blow up smoothly and it just gets too hot in your dryer and if your thermostats aren't popping, um, you're gonna have your fuses start blowing up. A lot of people find that they have a bad fuse they don't fix the issue that was that caused the bad fuse and they just put another fuse in and the fuse goes out in a month and they're like, oh, you, that's a horrible fuse. There's something wrong with this fuse. Um, you really do got to make sure that you go through, check your dryer lint, um, make sure that everything's blowing out okay. Um, that's probably the number one cause for these going on. Hopefully this helps. Good luck to you.